Hello, my name is Will Cadella, and today I'm going to show you how to use Google Presentation. Now, from your Google Drive, you want to go to your red Create button, click on that, and come down to Presentation. We're going to go over some of the basics today. It'll open up a Choose Theme window. You have several themes that you can choose from here. I'm going to keep it on the simple light theme. You can also import themes and choose the slide size. I'm going to choose a standard 4x3 today. If you ever need to change that theme, you can come right up here and click on the theme button and it opens up that same window. To name your presentation, you can actually click on the presentation name itself and rename it. Now let's go ahead and choose a background. I'll come up here to background, click on that. You could choose a color. It allows you to choose from several preset colors. You can also come down to a custom color and choose a custom color there. Or you can go up to choose image and it opens up several options taking a snapshot, uploading it by URL. It also gives you the ability to just drag an image right into this box. It'll load up here in just a second. Now I can apply this image to all my slides or I can just keep it on this one. If you ever need to reset it, you can just click on the reset there. And now I have my background. The default slide gives me several text boxes as you can see. I'll go ahead and type in some text here. And just like with other word processors and slide presentation software, you have several font formatting options up here, including changing the font itself, the size, the color of it. And of course you can move it around wherever you'd like. You notice as I move it around I get several lines that show up there. Those are alignment lines that will align it to the center of the page both vertically and horizontally and to different objects. To ever delete a text box you simply click on it and click on delete. You can also add word art by coming up to insert, coming down to word art, typing it in, pressing enter, and now you have your word art in there that gives you several different types of formatting options. To add another text box, you can come right up to this icon right here, click on that, and drag in, in another text box. To add a picture, you can come right up to this icon right here and click on that, and it adds an insert image window, and you can actually do that by uploading it, taking a snapshot, or by URL, as well as these other options. You can search it right from this window, but what I like to do actually is something much simpler. I just take the image and I drag it right in. It'll load up here in just a second and there's my image right there. I can resize that and of course move it around however I'd like. Now let's go ahead and make a new slide. I can come up here to the new slide button. I can simply click on the plus or I can click on the arrow which gives me a drop down menu and several different types of slide layout options. I'm just going to choose the blank layout. Now you see it adds a new slide. I could have also right clicked and created a new slide or even duplicated that slide. Now in my new slide, I can add some shapes. And just like in Google Drawing, you can hold down the Shift button and it will constrain it to a perfect shape. You can add more images. You can also rotate the images and the shapes as well. When you see this little circle node up here, if I click on that, I can rotate it around however I'd like. You can also add lines. If I come up here to my line tool, I can choose a straight line, arrow, curve, polyline, arc, and the scribble. I'll just go ahead and choose the regular straight line. Now let's go ahead and add some text to this box right here. First I'll resize this box. Double click in it. You see I have a little cursor right there type in my text. Now let's say I want this to overlap 
my picture but you notice it's actually behind the picture so what I can do is I can right click on it come down to order and then click on bring to front and you notice how that brings it to the front any time of course you just want to get rid of an element you just highlight it and click delete now let's add some video I'll come up to insert come down to video and click on that and you'll notice it gives me a YouTube video search I can also do the URL if I already know the URL of the YouTube video I want to use I'll go ahead and click on this one it'll load it in here for me I can also resize it just like that and that's how you would add video to a Google presentation one quick note I need to make is you'll notice that when I click on different elements it gives me different tools for example I can change the color of this box if I wanted to the line color and the line thickness as well if I click on my picture here it gives me the ability to hyperlink it now let's talk about transitions I'll go back to my first slide and I'll come up here and click on transition and you'll notice it opens up a transitions dialog box right over here I'll go ahead and click on the drop down menu and I'll make it a fade now you notice I have a slide bar I can make it a slow fade or a fast fade you notice you can also apply it to all slides as well and you can test the animation just like that I'll go ahead and click on my second slide and add a different transition here we can test this out you can also add animations to different individual elements within your Google presentation if I click on this box you'll notice it gives me an add animation feature I'll go ahead and click on that and it gives me several different options here first in this drop down menu it gives me the different type of animation I can add I'm gonna go ahead and click on zoom in next is the activation drop down menu I'm gonna go ahead and make this with previous now if I click on play you see what it looks like We'll go ahead and click on stop now if you notice down here at the bottom you have presentation notes that you can type in if you would like to present it you just come up here to your present button you can click on that or you can click on the drop down menu and choose from these following options including presenting with your speaker notes if you'd like to share this presentation with other collaborators you can click on the blue share button and you can share this link with them that's already highlighted or you can share it via email gmail google plus facebook or twitter you can also invite people to collaborate on this presentation with you using this dialog box down below you can also publish this to the web by clicking on file coming down to publish to the web it'll bring up this dialog box you click on start publishing click on OK and now you notice that you have a document link that you can copy and share with people you can also use that as a hyperlink on a website you can also embed this code into a website so the Google presentation will actually already be on a web page for you and of course you can change the, change the presentation size and here's where you can do some timing um, controls as well now if you go back up to file you can also download this presentation as a PowerPoint a PDF and depending on what slide you currently have on your screen you can download that slide in several different formats including a JPEG And those are some of the basics on how to use Google Presentations.